Well, you might have thought we were going to lose when you watched the first five minutes, but we ended up winning. You all got to see your favorite middle linebacker from five years ago for about, uh, you know, Pose three hours on me. Sunday. He looked like he ate a couple uh, hamburgers and drank a bunch of mojitos down he there, but he's still, than still tackling. Alonso, doesn't he? It would have been nice to have both of them. Uh, that's what I think, anyway. He had nine tackles, four assists, and one sack. Oh, he so, got a sack? Yeah, so he's, he's in for... Uh, for 13. Hmm. Kiko had a um, total of uh, nine nine tackles, my buddy Kiko Alonso. It would be nice, and I think what we're going to have to do probably, and they talked about it today on the Murphy Show, is draft a big run-stopping linebacker. To, uh, if Kiko Alonso doesn't make it, none of the other linebackers make a tackle. Yeah, well, you need two. You know, yeah. there's two sides of the line. He goes this way. We yeah. said it last week. We I mean, said it, it all year. It seems like we're putting, they're, they're lining up that Manny Lawson on the on the line, and we're it's almost like a five-two, you know, the way they're lining it up so much. It's never like a four-three. It's like a five-two that they're doing. Yeah, right? and they're just finding where we're not. Yeah, right. They, on those big plays, you know, just like last week, they said, you know, after he had that eighty-yard run against Tampa Bay, um, they he averaged two yards a carry afterwards, and then today or you know yesterday, the. Um, EJ starts f f um, like four for 11 or something. It was just terrible. It was brutal. Yeah, two but after seven. the first quarter, we're 3-3. Three, three. It's a tie game. So, I mean, what's the panic here? It's a 3-3 three, three game. It's not like they're rolling up the score against us while he's not doing anything. And then he, then he goes on a nice little run. He goes 15-17, to 17, throws, yeah. two, throws for two touchdowns, runs for a touchdown. Well, you said it. People aren't happy unless he's throwing for 350 yards, 80%, five touchdowns. It just doesn't happen in year one. And even if it, it does, you don't want it to happen. Yesterday, I'm watching the other game on, on Channel 6. It's uh, the San Francisco, or no, it's uh, Seattle and the Giants. And you look at that kid, and Russell Wilson, he manages the game. He's a great quarterback. There, there's a Super Bowl contender. If they don't win the Super Bowl, I'd be surprised. Seattle yeah, this 200 year. yards, couple touchdowns, couple 60%. couple touchdowns, one interception, and he's, in, you know, and he, he manages the game and wins the game. I mean, they're going to the throw game. interceptions. They're going to throw them. The best quarterbacks throw No quarterback has Brand thrown 40 through. touchdowns, zero interceptions. That's yeah, just not going to happen. It just doesn't happen. And, and I remember, I don't know if, how many guys are old enough out there to, that watch Jim <laughs> Kelly and the boys, but Kelly would start games up cold as can be or get cold in the middle of a game and then all of a sudden catch fire and throw 15 for 17. To me, that's a great game. Uh, that Shope today is like, oh, I wasn't impressed. I watched. I was like, you know, I don't care because the well, results all he cares about is hockey anyway. He doesn't you know, know anything. I, I don't understand those guys. But, but, but the same thing with now. Now the other, the other thing they're talking about is drafting a new quarterback. You know, should they draft a quarterback? Um, and they're saying, and then this morning, uh, what's the other guy's name in the morning? Oh, uh, Simon. Simon. Howard and, Simon. And what's the other? His, his the Whitey. They call him. Um, Whitey, whatever oh, his name. Uh, doesn't matter. But he's saying, well, if you're on the board and you say you grade him out of 100, and we graded EJ Manuel as an 86 when we drafted him, if there's a 97 on the board when we draft, don't even worry about what we have or what we don't have. Take the 97. Take that best player on the board. If there's a Joe Montana on the board, you take him. I still say Spiller was a good pick. These guys... You know, everyone says, "Oh, we had all these other needs." So, if you, what do you do? You need a linebacker, so you pick a 46 or a 51 when there's a yeah. when there's a 97 running back on the board. Take your 97 running back. He's the best pick they've had in 20 years, even though nobody wanted to pick him. And and you pick the best guy. So, I, as good as Manuel played at the end, and he won the game, and he might be the next Jim Kelly. If there's another quarterback on the board, you take him. You see what happens. Even if you use him as a draft bait or, you know, yeah. you, you could trade him hey, what, away. Yeah, what if you else? actually took a guy? Now, a lot of times what will happen is just like it happened this year. We traded away our pick, and then the uh, Rams took that wide receiver. We got another pick. But, hey, if someone doesn't yeah, budge, absolutely. you take the guy. And maybe you trade him. Maybe you trade him after the fact. Maybe you trade him on day two of the draft when someone's like, "Hey, I wish I had him. I'll, yeah, I'll give you three I'll picks three, now." I don't know what they'll give you. What did they? What did Seattle give up, or was he a free agent to get this Flynn? He bounced from. He he's bounced, a free agent. He's a free. Oh, he's agent. a free agent. But yeah, but but he was a hot commodity. 
I mean, sure. if you could trade him at that point, mm-hmm. and, and although the Bills picked him up and didn't see anything that they liked on him for the week or so that he yeah. played for us. Well, he knows that, you know, I guess it's a system thing. I don't to know, know the looked, offense. He looked sort of... really nice. He looked comfortable. I saw him flip a, that one little touchdown pass. You know, yesterday, Flynn uh, played for uh, the Green Bay yeah, Packers, Green Bay. and they beat Dallas. And boy, oh boy, on ESPN, they just, they, I mean, he must have been on for 45 minutes showing every single play over and over <laughs> on that game. I hate ESPN. Sometimes it gets so ridiculous. I can't wait till we're good enough to be out there. <laughs> I know. Um, 35. Well, you know, he's back there and he'll probably be the backup. But this isn't a Packers show. We'll get back to the Bills. Well, yeah, here. well, let's talk about EJ Manuel. He runs for, he runs for a nice touchdown here. Um, he, he, yeah. He, 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 you know, he follows that blocker that Fred. Uh, what's his name? Not Fred Summers. I keep is come it? killing my. I'm so brutal, Summers. But you're saying he, is he a rookie? This someone said he Summers? was a rookie. I don't even know. But the well, the guys on the um, I didn't think he was, but the guys on the uh, TV that aired it on the TV, uh, Frank what? Summers, isn't his name? Yeah, he. I'm so bad with names. I'm brutal. But yeah, I, well, I'm just trying to figure out. We how We look many, pretty good. In fact, for some of you guys, if anyone Four plays, times, uh, yeah. if anyone plays Madden. The one play that we did, which was uh, with those t- when he scored a touchdown, I used to do that all the time. You do a play action and you throw it to the fullback. It's always wide open. Boy, you, you know he, he <laughs> looks so strong. he looks so bulky and strong, but he sprinted to that spot. Nobody was anywhere yeah. near him. He was wide open. It was a beautiful, nice one-yard touchdown pass. Well, see another thing though is when you do something like that, people not that they're going to be worried about that guy breaking a big game, but then they're conscious of him. And if you get a linebacker to take two steps that way, then you can run the quarterback up the middle or you throw to someone else. I mean, someone else becomes open because he ends up being I think the kid's got dangerous. some nice hands. I mean, he's he, he caught three passes yesterday for 16 yards. Yeah, and a few weeks ago, uh, or at least 11. I know maybe five weeks ago or so, you know, he did a couple good things. He caught a pass. He runs the ball hard. And I'd yeah, rather have him yeah, run the yeah. ball than somebody else. We And you know who else we didn't see? Um, not to get too crazy, but we're talking running backs. Uh, we got rid of choice, and then we had that other guy, Mingo. Mingo. We, we didn't, I didn't see him at all this no, week. No, he was he was inactive. Oh, was he? He was one of the actives this week. He I like the play. fullback. We and should the, be playing the, the fullback more. And the week before, he was he was he active. He ran once or twice. And I don't know if he got. He got he went, I know yeah. he got it once, but we were and, in our buzz and, kit. And, and the fullback was inactive. Oh, so really? They switched. They switched. Yeah, this week. See, yeah. the fullback is a. It almost feels like I don't know if you feel this way, but that the coaches still don't know really what their identity is. I know they said no huddle, this or that, but as far as scheme, because you can know huddle, you can be run and shoot, you can be. There, there no matter. huddle stinks. I gotta tell you. I mean, it, 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 they, you know, they call it upbeat, but um, this the Jaguars had had a more upbeat, um, up tempo. Yeah, they get up to the line and they get them snapping. We're running around. There's a couple times when there are, our defensive, even that one that Leonard made that that nice play on. He was running to catch up when they snapped that ball and luckily he just caught yeah, happens right, to be in the right, in the right area. spot but but the bills yeah. he walks up yeah it, it, who's got him are you are you ready uh, oh wait okay wait he's not ready over there let's Paz figure out isn't ready yet. is yeah is anybody ready over there and every single cell one time i just want to see him get up to the plane just snap it and go let them figure out and that's what you know let the defense figure out what the bills are going to do i mean that's what they said. They said we're going to dictate. Yeah. We're going to dictate what they. We don't care what they do. We're going to dictate what they have to do because based on what us. And they're not doing that on the offense. They're walking up slow. They're kind of doing a half-ass huddle. They're all like getting mm-hmm. close to each other and, and whispering to each other. And then they're going up. And I'm looking at the clock. And usually there's some place between 15 and 10 seconds. And then after. And they wait 10 yeah, more seconds. Then they snap. And then they stay. They look around. They and then they snap it. So they're not really doing this upbeat thing. And maybe. They that's a problem because if it's one thing if you get to the line of scrimmage you're moving fast you snap but it's another thing if you're thinking they're you're trying to figure himself, it sure. out and, and he's you, not seeing it anyways he's a rookie well, he doesn't know what the hell he's seeing over there he's not seeing it too he threw one pick yesterday right yeah it was it was a brutal one he he throws that little uh oh yeah screen pass yeah and then they, he had to tackle the guy and he i guess he tackle. sprained his knee they said oh, on that tackle no 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 but they i'm just saying in general because i was going to say he went and dove at that guy everyone's biting their fingernails yeah. when he tackles somebody I, I actually see i don't know if anyone else remember he fell somewhere 
uh, one of his runs, and he just kind of got up. He made a face, and similar to one Spiller run, you saw his leg buckle. Oh yeah, but in the end, they just caught the back, and of then his he ankle. just kind of limped a little too, bit. He was gone too if they didn't catch him. He was gone on that one. But uh, Stevie Johnson, he took a, a big hit in the paper the week before against Atlanta, making the fumble and didn't have a big game. And okay, then, then Tampa, he stunk then, it up, and then Sullivan. Yeah. Uh, but I guess his mother died. Let's coals. we'll send out a little condolences. You know, the kid's got a heart. I don't care what anybody says. He's got a big heart. He plays hard. He's you know, and and, and we always want to pick on our best players. I don't get it. It's like a Buffalo thing. Lindy Ruff in 1980, they want to get rid of him. Dave Anderchuk, they cried the fact that all he did was score on the power play. He ended yeah, up didn't scoring. He go, come, yeah, didn't he win the Stanley yeah, Cup? Yeah, won the Stanley somewhere? Cup after we left <laughs> Tampa Bay. You know, he he scored more power play goals than anyone in the history. Of the NFL, NHL. You know, we always want to get rid of these guys. Vanek, he's lazy. He's the, he was our best player. We get rid of him. Yeah. Now, Stevie, doing, Johnson, doing now. Stevie Johnson's our best player. There's a couple of, of bad plays, and everyone wants to jump all over. Well, who know? And not to get too much off, but if his mother died on what is it, Friday or Saturday, yeah. was she sick? Was she sick for two weeks? I mean, is he like flipping out for two yeah, weeks? Well, I know I, it's, I, yeah, who knows the details? I guess she had cancer, so they knew it was probably close to the end, you know. You know, I mean, I guess he's yeah. no Brett Favre or anything, but hey, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, well, I. I, my condolences are. I love you, Stevie. I don't care what anybody else says. God bless you. I'm glad you're in there. You're fighting hard. You got you got more heart than a lot of people give you credit for. Just catch the ball. One more thing. It's 11 minutes into this thing. We try to stop at 10. I want him to squish the fish so bad. The whole season will be will be remarkable if we we sweep the Dolphins. You know, we basically will will split with the other guys, and we sweep the Dolphins. We'll win the AFC East. Yeah. Our win the majority of our AFC East games. Well, we, usually that Patriots means you're going to win. Nice too, but. Yeah, well, oh, we have to split. We'd have to beat them to to have a winning record. But at least we'll be 500 in the division yeah. for sure if we beat Dolphins and squish the fish. I hate the Dolphins. I yeah. hate them. And who cares what draft pick we get? Shut up. Care. Yeah, we don't care. If we, I like to just split these next two games. I'd be happy. All right, go Bills.